Hey there, hope you're doing alright today. I just want to talk to you just for a minute about homeowner insurance. You know, we in the industry, we like to throw around a lot of different terminology to try to explain what it is that uh, that we that we are selling to you. And unfortunately, sometimes those acronyms or those initials or whatever it is that we use don't really mean a lot to you. So I'm just going to really briefly touch on that and ho hopefully maybe clear that up for you a little bit. But if you own your own home, uh, it is a actual house, a building, or something of that sort that you actually live in. You're, uh, and it's not just a condo, or you're not renting the space. Then you're going to be looking for a homeowner policy. Now you may be purchasing either a homeowner policy or a dwelling policy, um, but that's the type of policy that you're going to be looking for. Now we may call it an HO3, an HO5, a DWG1, a DWG2 or three or something like that. But just know that what you're looking for is a homeowner policy. Now, let me just give you real brief just the difference between a homeowner and a dwelling policy because they are not the same. Um, you can get um, a lot of the same coverages in either policy, but like, what you really need to understand is this, that the difference in the two of them is that a homeowner policy is really more of like a package policy versus a, versus a dwelling policy is more of something that is a kind of a policy you can buy for your home, you can get contents, you can get liability insurance, but it's more of an a la carte kind of process. Think of it like this. You know, everybody loves Mexican food. So, you know, you go to the Mexican restaurant and a lot of times they will have a, uh, a several different items that you can order that are in a package, so to speak. You know, it may come with a chimichanga, it come with some beans and some, and some rice and maybe some other sort of side. You know, that's kind of a package. That's what a homeowner policy is. It's a package of things that are included automatically in there. Inside that package is your dwelling limit, your other structures such as sheds, fences, other things like that. Um, the next thing is your personal property or your contents, the things that you own. Uh, that includes things that are outside such as like maybe your lawnmower, your weed eater. Um, there was also all your clothes that are inside, furniture, things like that. Uh, the next thing is your loss of use. Um, loss of use is coverage so that you have expense money to live somewhere else because your home is not livable. Uh, another thing is your liability insurance that's included in there. That's so that if someone gets hurt, then um, that's another party, not you or one of your family members, they get hurt and they say you're liable for that or you're responsible, then that's going to give you protection for that. The final thing is medical payments coverage, which is a no-fault medical coverage so that if someone was to get hurt at your house or because of something going on with you, where you're at, maybe on vacation or whatever, uh, then that's a smaller liability limit that you can apply in that scenario. Well, see, under a homeowner insurance, you get all of those included and they have automatic amounts on some of those different sublimits that are, that are referred to. Now on a dwelling policy, you have to pay individually for each and every one of those coverages. Now, let's say all you need is just dwelling coverage and you don't need contents or other structure or you don't want it. You can buy a dwelling policy for just insurance on your home and nothing else. So it is customizable. It's ordering a la carte for your home insurance but understand that typically it is a little bit more expensive to do that and then also it's usually you, you may not have an option depending on your situation so, so that's the two differences there I'm not really gonna go too much more into it in this video um, but if you like what you what you learned or you want to know more there's gonna be some other videos that you can follow inside the channel so just check it out and uh, we'll deal we'll get a little bit deeper down into it and I appreciate you taking a look.